Hi everyone, welcome to my crazy crafty life. Today I have another Dollar Tree haul. So let's jump into it. The first thing I want to show you is this giant strawberry shortcake. Giant coloring and activity book. How cute. Strawberry shortcake is my favorite. Um, I also thought too though that you could take these and cut them out, use them as embellishments and things like that, especially like this page. Um, and like, I don't know, you could definitely cut these out and use the images um, for different things or just color them for fun, which I think would be a good time. Um, this is like the newer updated strawberry shortcake. I really like the 80s version, but I still think the images on here are really super cute and worthwhile. Look at those. You could definitely cut those out and use them in scrapbooking, journaling, whatever. So super fun book. Super, super fun book. Look how big this thing is. So big and I love that she's wearing glasses that is super adorable next I found this little vase um, why I chose green I don't know <laughs> that was the color that drew me in so that's the one I picked they had like a lab like a purple and a mauve color as well but this is the one I picked I think it was purple maybe it was purple pinkish I don't know they had different colors to choose from, but I picked this one. Really cute for spring. Next, I found some fans. I thought these were adorable. Look at the images on these. Did I open that the right way? I did. Why isn't it opening all the way? Something's getting in my way here. Probably the tag. I think it's the tag, but that is what that one looks like. And look at the look at the design on the sides here. That's really pretty. So love that. Love the little tassel. Then I found this one with the light pink. How beautiful is that? I love that. And this one has the light pink tassel. I love those. Those are so beautiful. Very excited for those. Then I found these graduation tassels, which they've had. I swear they've had these for years and years. I used to buy them for my kids and stuff. Um, this one says 2023, and yes, I do have a graduate. Wow, she's graduating from high school, my youngest. So that's crazy to me. <laughs> but yeah, of course I had to pick up that for her. And they also had this little ducky that says, you did it, how cute. Even if you just want to use them for decorations. Um, oh, it says 2023 on the top too. I didn't even realize that. So, so cool. That's awesome. I love that. Then I picked up these little mini tin buckets for 4th of July. How cute are these? You could also use them for Memorial Day. I will probably put like little florals in here. That'll be so cute. I also found this stepping stone in the um, Shore Living collection. And I was hoping that if I put this outside on, I have a little table that I got at like five below and it, you know, any wind is gonna topple it over. So I was wondering if I put this like on, on the legs, maybe it'll help it stay. We'll see. We'll see how good that works. All right. Next, I got these cherry necklaces. Um, I just thought they were super, super cute. And I was thinking of turning them into earrings. They're really big, but I, I don't know. I wear big earrings, especially on camera. So I don't know. These could be a lot of fun <laughs> to put on and wear. Um, but I love, I love the chain too. The red is really pretty. So... Very cute. You could even use them to decorate with or whatever you want, tear tray, tons of ideas. Right. Next, I found some socks from Juncture. And I'm telling you, if it didn't have the Juncture tag on it, I would never guess that this was a Dollar Tree sock. 
look how beautiful that is. And not only do you get that one, but you also get the striped one on the back. How cute are those? And I love to wear my little black Mary Janes. Having that peek through is going to be so super adorable. All right, next I found this little, what's this called? What do you call this? Makeup bag, cosmetic bag by Sassy and She. Um, but what I really, ooh, sorry, I got really up close to you. Uh, what I really like about this one is how big it is. Look how big that is. You could fit a lot of stuff in here. Colored pencils, makeup, craft supplies. I mean, it's endless. Um, the outside is like a vinyl, so you could wipe it off if it gets dirty. The inside, though, is like a felted material. So if it gets dirty, it's probably not going to clean really well. So um, whatever you put in here, just be mindful that that could get dirty. found another one of those jars I showed in my last haul. And I love the knobble. Is that what that's called? Knobble head? Or whatever it's called. There is a little space here that doesn't have anything. So if you wanted to put like a label or something there, you could. I love love this one but you could also paint it if you didn't like the color so cute though the next thing i found was this blue um infinity scarf it is an infinity scarf and it's like a tie-dye blue i just love it i think this would look amazing with a long dress and you'd be ready for a date night with some flip-flops oh yes absolutely awesome I then found some more novelty pens, which I can't stop buying them for whatever reason. They're just so fun. This one with the pink, and then there's this yellow one, but it has pink and it goes to yellow. Isn't that cute? I love that pen. Super fun. Okay, next I bought this. Um, it's just called a dish cleaner. I actually don't want to use it for that reason. I actually want to use it um, for cleaning bathroom and stuff because, you know, reaching is hard for me sometimes. So I just thought that this might make it easier with the little sponge stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. Um, but I figured I'd pick it up and try. All right. The next thing that I found were these plaques. I love, love these plaques. I think these are amazing. It says, Market Fresh Flowers, Seed, Stems, Blooms. How beautiful is that? I love the shape of it. I love that it has that. I'm not exactly sure how well this is going to paint up. Um, or if I'm going to have to use like, sharpies or whatnot i find using sharpies on this stuff though it tends to um like it tends to drain the sharpie because it just sucks it up but we'll see we'll see how i can um work with this this is so pretty i love it i also found this little thing it says click oink moo i just thought it was so cute it's so farmhouse um, something you could just put on a shelf and um, as decor it's just this uh, particle board stuff but so pretty so cute you know you could maybe even I would probably put some florals up here and make it look like a vase kind of thing I think that would be cute I found more mirrors <laughs> um, I showed I think I showed one of these. I don't think I've shown all of these, but I really like the shape of these. And someone had suggested that I put a grouping of these, you know, on the wall. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So I really like that idea. Um, I do have a bathroom that I have like all kinds of fun gardeny decor. And I think this might actually look good on the wall with one of the items I have there. I'm trying not to blind you guys, <laughs> but these also would be good to put a candle on, I think, you know, put a candle on top there. 
Um, there's so many options you could do with these. So very excited for that. I might even want to put those outside because they're plastic. And I actually don't mind if the mirrors get antiqued or patinaed because I kind of like that look. Hmm. I think I like that idea because they're plastic. So they're, they'd be okay outside. I want to decorate that space. I definitely have a spot out there too that's very blank canvas. So uh, that's an option for sure. <laughs> that is an option. Next thing I found was this pink fabric. It is so pretty. It is so subtle. It's it's like um, buffalo check, but it's it's very pale, very pale. And this fabric is not cotton. This is where does it say? It says it's 100% cotton, but it's very light and airy. So very interesting. I only found the one. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what I can do with this, but it is so pretty. I definitely want to use it for something. So that is nice. Love that. Okay, the next item I found was the refill of the Spick and Span Everyday Antibacterial Cleaner. I found the refill bottle. I bought the spray bottle last time. I showed it to you guys. Um, this is, let's see, one pint, 12 fluid ounces. Um, cuts through grease and grime. And it's got the fresh lemon scent, which is the, the same as the other one I got. So very excited that I found the refill one because I forgot to check the last time I went to Dollar Tree. So I did find it again. So thank goodness. Um, I also bought one of these shore living little jute balls. They're just calling it table decor. Um, I bought the little tiny size, which I think is adorable. Um, you could put a whole bunch of these in a bowl. Um, there's a lot you could do with these little things, but I just, I thought the little one was too cute to pass up. All right, I got a bunch of cards. <laughs> well, not a bunch, I got a few cards. Um, I did pick up another one of these strawberry cards. I absolutely am obsessed with these strawberry cards. Um, the ones from last year too, I loved. Um, it says you're the nearest and the sweetest. Love you bunches. Happy Mother's Day inside. It says you are so very sweet. So I love that so, so much. I then found um, this card for the graduate, which my youngest is graduating. I probably already said that. Sorry if I did. Um, but I think that's adorable and girly and I just, she's my little girl. She's my youngest. So <laughs> that is the inside of it. It's so cute. Even the back has little flowers. So I had to get that for her. I wish they had had these cards when they were in middle school because their color, their middle school colors were purple and this would have gone perfectly with that. But yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> Um, and then I found this Mother's Day card. It says, World's Greatest Mom. And I love how beachy and summery it is. I just love this. I want a scrapbook with it. It even has flowers on the back. Um, yeah, I think this is adorable. I really do. I love the beach bag. So cute. Can't wait to do something with that. Um, next, I found a journal. And honestly, the only thing I wanted were the stickers. Um, look at those stickers. How cute. You could decorate your journal if you wanted to or use them on something else. Completely up to you. But pink strawberries, oh my gosh. They had me at the strawberries. <laughs> they really, really did. But a butterfly is cute. The watermelon. They have little butterfly there. A little butterfly there. So, so many cute things on here to choose and decorate your journal or whatever you want. Next, I found this sticker. I love this sticker. So pretty. So, so pretty. You could decorate a laptop with this. You could decorate um, a wood sign with this. You could scrapbook with this. I mean, it's limitless, really, with this. But the thing that I do love is that it is a vinyl sticker. So if you do do it if you do decide to put it on like a wood sign um, and just Mod Podge over it, it will be fine. I believe that this will stick really, really well on something like that. So I thought it was just so pretty. I love the moon. 
and yeah it's so pretty the feathers everything the flowers so cute all right next i found some vintage stickers and i'm positive i already have these but i love them so so much so i had to pick them up again because i love the vintage stuff that's totally my vibe and look at that sticker i love it so yeah they're they're so so pretty i feel like even this one here you could even do as use it as a gift tag like you put two from you know if you wanted to but or write a date if you're scrapbooking or something like how cute are these i love these next i found the tinsel decor the new ones i found the watermelon and the palm tree and i think these are so cool these are little pom-poms for the coconuts <laughs> that's so cool how fun to decorate and have a little party with these i also want to try and take one of these and turn it into a strawberry because i think that would be adorable um we'll see might not end up looking like one but we'll try <laughs> we'll try um but how cute are these I love these. I'm so excited. All right. <laughs> the next item I found um, was this patriotic headband. This is adorable. I love this. It's so cute. I also found the hair tie that matches, which I think I will probably end up wearing the hair tie more, um, especially, you know, if it's a hot day, but I'll put my hair up and have this um, dangle so cute i love the stars and the stripes together i think they did it so so well together it's sewn up there how cute is that i love it the next thing that i got was these bags oh my gosh how cute are these this would make an adorable sign um or whatever you want but i absolutely love these look at she's holding a lemonade a pink lemonade it looks like so cute the sides look like this how cute I love this bag so so very excited I found them I love these reusable bags for sorting for shopping for whatever you want the next thing that I found were some garden flags for the summertime um, I found this one which I really really like a lot this is so beautiful and I needed two. I needed one for my front and one for my backyard. So I got that one. And then I got this one, which I thought was really pretty. Um, I also found this one, which, I mean, I only needed two, but I, I'm really undecided which one I want to use. I'm, mm, I don't know <laughs> which one. But I may end up putting this um, in my mudroom, maybe. I don't know yet. I haven't decided because I really, actually, my back door to my mudroom isn't decorated. So maybe I'll put one of these there and then I'll need three. <laughs> the next thing that I found was so cute. Um, they had other ones, um, but I think that's going to be in the next haul because I had so much stuff. Um, is this cute little bumblebee gnome isn't he cute with the little honey pot oh he's so cute so so cute and if you've ever wanted to do a bee themed it's got the little bee wings if you ever wanted to do a um bee themed uh tear tray these guys are perfect for it and i'm telling you dollar tree listens to us or watches us because um, I don't know if you guys remember, but one time I had commented I didn't like the ones that show the faces, like these ceramic -y or whatever these are, resin, I don't know, um, that I don't like the, when the eyes are showing. And look, they gave us, they gave us this guy. How cute is he? I love this. I'm so excited. I've never done a bee themed before, but I'm going to have to now. <laughs> the last thing I have to show you, it's pretty boring. I got sand, <laughs> I got some rocks, these glass rocks. I also got these glass, sea glass rocks. Um, I'll probably use them together, I'm not even sure yet. And I got this bucket. Um, if you watch, oh my gosh, what's her name? K 
Kelly Barlow from Kelly Barlow's Creations. She, this was not her idea, but she, um, that's where I saw it. So that's who I'm going to give credit for it. Um, she made a, uh, fire pit with this stuff. I just need the, the dog bowls, the metal dog bowls, which I'm pretty sure I'll find at a different Dollar Tree. So, um, you will s probably see that on the next haul. And yeah, so that's what I got this stuff for. So that's going in my outdoor decor stuff. So yeah. Anyways, that is it for this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and a comment down below. It really does help me out. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. That also helps me out a great deal. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.